I want you guys to be able to get good use out of your printer, but there is some setup that needs to happen in order to make it work. Uh, I'm going to send you this print guide along with this video so that you can have your network guy or whoever your tech guy is set up the printer. It took me a little bit to find this information, and I ended up setting up for my own home just to kind of see how it works. Uh, the first few pages are not necessary, kind of give you an overview of how the printing happens, the hardware requirements, and I believe, I haven't looked at your printers, but I, I'm 90% sure that it is, since it is a brother, that it networks with Google, and um, you're going to have to use Google Cloud Print because they, the Chromebooks that you're using, they don't, do, they don't interface with the printer so this is the way you're going to have to use it so the first thing you're going to have to do is you're actually going to have to get your computer on your net or the printer on the network probably with a uh, uh, desktop printer or something or a uh, lap one of those laptops but having your network guy getting that printer onto your network and have an IP address but after you have that um, your, your students will have Google accounts, but I recommend that this step be done by your tech department guy or your network guy. Uh, first thing is you're going to have to register your printer in the cloud print. And this is on, uh, I think this is page 7 of the document. Uh, so registering your cloud, on the cloud print. And the way that you do that is you're going to type in your machine's IP address. Uh, and for mine it's 192.168. Uh, dot dot one or dot six dot one ten and I go to that and it brings me into uh, the brother print setup uh, area you can set up a network administrator password for this area so that might be a good idea for you guys to set up a network administrator so that because your kids are going to have access to it and they might be able to kind of figure out what uh, a way to get to this and they could possibly lock you out of that printer. I'm not saying that they would. You have really good kids there. But you do uh, you do want to protect yourself a little bit. So you want to set up the network on that printer. Currently, I don't have one at my home. Um, but you want to click on the network tab here. And we're going to go over to the, I believe it is the protocol. Let me make sure there. Yep, Google, we're going to look at our protocol and notice that Google Cloud Print is checked. But well, we need to go to the advanced settings in this. So we're going to click advanced settings. And I already did this and then I unregistered the device. Um, but what we're going to do is first we have to register our device. So uh, brother, and, you know, that's my printer name. I'm going to register that. It's going to go through another step here. And then OK. And then we're going to go to Google and we're going to go to Google and we're going to register that device. that finish registering this printer okay so that's all that had to happen there now you can go to manage your printers and what's going to happen is is event you'll just see save to google and say a print to fedex but if you refresh that list you should see your printer in that list now if we click on that printer and highlight it and this is your network guy uh, he can share that with the Google accounts of all the other people that all the students that can print it in there so he would invite those other people to be able to print and then he also can invite anybody else to be able to manage that as well uh, so I would have one person set up your printer being your network tech guy and then invite all your students to be able to print so it might be a couple of days before you're able to print but then you should be able to use that uh, to print just to kind of give you an idea once you're on say this page we're just going to hit file print and we can change that now and now we can print to google cloud print it's going to show up in our print manager and we're going to be able to select that printer and we could select all the the options and we just want to pay, print page one and click print and what it will do is it will go to your Google Cloud print uh, queue and you can see you can even see the jobs that are loading in there and this one is currently in progress of printing and once it prints it will it'll leave the queue here but you can you can see what jobs are in there so that's Google Cloud print and I hope that helps you with the setup of this 
because uh, I know it took me a little bit to figure out, and I wanted this to be a smooth transition for you.